Hello farmers, it's Farmer Deb with another Big Farm tutorial. And you'll see that I am in my deep sea fishing area. So grab your tackle boxes and your fishing rods because today we are going fishing. That's right. Today I am talking about all things fish related because this little fishing area is money. The fishing area is where you are going to make the most money in this game. And that money is going to allow you to do your upgrades and your expansions. You need this money. So how do you get to this area? If you are starting out in this game, you'll notice that this area is not open to you. And I've known a lot of people that just thought that it was going to magically appear at some point, and that's not true. I know that your gourmet farm, your flower farm, even the horse farm, they all opened up for you as you reached certain levels. That's not the case for the fishing area. In order to open up your fishing area, you have to complete a series of 26 fishing tasks. And these are all tasks that are located on your task bar here on the left side of your screen. You're going to see a task that is fishing related. And as you finish one, a new one will appear for a total of 26 of them. And it is not until you finish those 26 that this area opens up. It does not matter what your level is. I've known players that were at level 20 and had their fishing area open. And I've known players that were at level 100 and never opened their fishing area. So it doesn't matter what level you are. It only matters when you're able to complete those 26 tasks. So I'm going to go through all of it because I know that this is one area of the game that really stomps new members. I'm going to start by sharing all of those tasks with you. A few years ago, they were posted on the Big Farm forums. Now, if you've never been to the forums, it's a good place to go. I get a lot of helpful information there. And you can visit the forums. It's right here. This button on your toolbar will take you to the forums. But this is specifically for the fishing tasks. And I'm going to put this link in the description box below so that you can go right to this web page and you can see all 26 of these fishing tasks. If I scroll down, you'll see they have everything listed and they also tell you what reward you will get when you finish it. So for number one, here's the first fishing task. A lot of people do this one without even thinking about it because Oleg the fisherman, he is on three different farms and he's pretty easy to find. So a lot of people will find the fisherman and not even realize that they are completing fishing tasks. When you look at this list, this first button is telling you what farm you're going to find this task. If you are on your main farm, you only are given tasks for the main farm. If you're on your flower farm, then you're giving tasks that are flower farm related. So those tasks on that task bar do change based on the farm that you're on. So in order to find this first one, you do have to have your flower farm open and this will show up on the flower farm task bar. So that's what this first button is showing. It's just showing you which farm this task will be found on. The second icon here shows you what it's going to look like on your task bar. So this is the actual picture that you will see on your task bar. And when you hover over it, it'll tell you that you are finding the fisherman. And once you find him, then it tells you what the reward will be. And then it goes on to the next one, which is also, so you'll see one, two, and three. These are all on your flower farm. Now this one doesn't seem fishing related because it's donating eggs and corn, but you see Oleg's little pretty face on here. So this is a fishing task. All right, so number three, you can see there's three parts to this. You're gonna learn how to fish, you're gonna tell Oleg to go fishing, and you're also going to start your fish training. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to do all three of those. But I just wanted to quickly scroll down so that you can view what these other tasks will look like. You'll notice that all of these have something fish on them. All right, so now we're moving to the main farm. 
This is the icon for the main farm, and this is what the task button will look like. Here we've gone back to the flower farm, but all of these have fish until you get to right here. So after you complete task 16, here's where a lot of people lose it because the next two, um, I'm sorry, when you get to 17, task number 18 and 19 do not have fish on them. So a lot of people will think that they have finished the fishing tasks and they won't do these, but these are actually part of the fishing tasks. So producing this milk and harvest, number 18 and 19, pay very close attention to this. When you finish task 17, you'll want to find these two tasks. And then once you complete them, then you get back into all of the ones that have fish. Now, when you have completed all 26 tasks, then you're going to get one more that is going to specifically show you how to get to your fishing area, how to open it up, and it's going to have you build your first boat. There's going to be other fishing tasks after that that's going to take you a lot longer to finish. So you definitely want to get 26 and then this last one here and then the rest of these as you can. All right. So once you get to here, your fishing area will be open and the rest of these are just as you are growing your fishing area. We are going to definitely get the first 26 tasks finished. You need to get your fishing area open. All right, so let's go back over to the farm. Now, this is my fishing area. Obviously, you won't have this. Um, let's talk about Oleg the fisherman. Where is he? Where can we find him? Oleg is on three different farms. He is on your main farm, and he's always, he's a fisherman, so he's always near the water, and he's always sitting on the dock just waiting for you to either go fishing with him or to send him fishing. So on the main farm, he's all the way over here to the left. And on this main farm, he is going to catch bass and carp. Those are the only two fish that, that you will be able to fish for when you click on him here. He is also on your flower farm, or I'm sorry, your gourmet farm. And sort of in the same spot, also all the way over here to the left on the dock. And then he's on the flower farm, all the way over here, sitting on the dock. So you will find Oleg on three different farms. I'm going to go back to my main farm, and we're going to talk about how to use Oleg. Now, you can just send him fishing, and he will fish for you, and you don't have to do anything. But you can do your own fishing on this game, and a lot of people struggle with it. So I want to show you the tips that I learned on how to do your own fishing. First, I'm going to come over here to Oleg, and when I click on him, I'm going to get a ring menu that has several different options on here. Now, if I want to send him fishing, which I don't want to right now, I would just click this, and then he goes off and he fishes for me. But if I want to do my own fishing, I'm going to be clicking this little fishing rod. This allows me to do my own fishing. When I click here, you're going to see this little fishing pond with all of these fish in it. This is your fishing rod, and this is where your hook is going to be cast from. In order to cast your rod, in order to cast your hook, you are going to click somewhere in this area, somewhere in the water. Wherever you click, that's where the hook is going to go. Okay, so let me say that again. Wherever you click in this water, that's where the hook will go. So if I click over here, that hook is going to go over here where there are no fish. Now, you have to understand that these fish are not stationary. If you notice, these fish are moving around and it's going to take time for your hook to get to them. So you sort of have to gauge how the fish are moving and you want to click maybe slightly in front of them so that by the time they get to that point, your hook is there. The biggest tip for this is that you do not want to catch fish that are below the top third. So like right in this area here, the top third of the water is where you want to catch your fish. I don't want to catch the fish that are way 
down here at the bottom for two reasons. One, it just takes forever for your hook to get down there and it's a waste of time. And two, by the time your hook finally does get down there, the fish most likely has moved away. So you wanna focus on the fish that are in the top third. Now I'm gonna go for this area right here. There's quite a few fish, so my odds are pretty good of catching something. I'm gonna go for this guy right here and I, you notice I clicked right on him. Now, as I am reeling him in, I want you to focus on this little bar right here. This is your tension bar. This shows how much tension you have on your line. As it gets into the red, that means that your line has a lot of tension on it and it is about to break. I have loaded my tackle box with all of the beginner tools that you would also have. So you'll see that only half my bar is even full. As you upgrade your materials, this bar will get bigger. Um, so you want to keep your tension right here. I try not to go above this yellow turning into orange area because once you start to get into here, your line is about to break. In order to catch this fish, now he's gone all the way to the bottom, so it's gonna be a little tricky for me. Um, what you do is you just click your left mouse button and hold it, and that will start reeling him in. And you are closely watching that tension bar. As it gets into that area, let go. See, as it starts to get into that yellow turning on into orange, I let go. If you don't, that's what happens. Your line breaks. All right, so let's try it again. So watch as it gets into the orange, let go. Let it get down a little bit. I right now am just clicking and letting go, clicking and letting go. He will eventually come to the top. It's better to just click and let go, click and let go until you reel him in. And there you have caught your first fish. Now I said that you didn't want to catch the fish down here at the bottom. So I would focus just on these fish in this top third area. And then when all of those are gone and all I have left are the fish at the bottom, all you have to do is close this screen. Now watch, see where all these fish are. When I close my screen and come back, the fish move around. This little guy right here, he was all the way at the bottom. So the fish will move around every time you close that screen and come back. So if you have fish that are just all at the bottom, close the screen, reopen it, and that will move the fish around. Okay, so again, we wanna click, try to gauge how they're moving. I'm gonna go for this guy and hold it down until it gets to that orange area, then let go. Even if he's at the top, let go just a little bit and then you can reel him in. That is how you do your own fishing. Now I mentioned that I had all of the beginner tools that you would have when you're just starting out. I've been playing this game for a long time, so I have all of the upgraded tools. And you will, as you start completing those 26 tasks, a lot of them reward you with some of the more upgraded tools. So let's talk a little bit about those tools and where you can find them and how you add them to your tackle box. Some of the tasks will ask you to upgrade tools. Some of them will have you fishing with certain types of bait and you have to know how to find them. So we're gonna go back to Oleg and remember that ring menu had different things on it. We did the fishing. This time we wanna go up here to what looks like a little fishing shack. This is where all of the fishing supplies can be bought. So we click here and it'll show you all of the available fishing tools. You have to have a fishing rod, you have to have hooks, you have to have a line, and you have to have a reel in order to go fishing. So those items have to be in your tackle box. And this is where you would upgrade them. Right now, I have the very basic bamboo pole. And you can see that most of these are open for me because I've been playing for a while. So you might only have this one available until you upgrade your fishing level a little bit. Here's where you would get your hooks. This is the one that I have right now, that small minnow hook. The lines, and the better the line, 
the longer that tension bar will become, the, the more leeway you'll have reeling in your fish. And then this is where you would get the reels. In addition to these, you can also upgrade your tackle box. The tackle box will um, allow you to hold more items. So I said you have to have those, but you can also have a variety of bait. And the bigger your tackle box, the more bait you can hold at one time. And then you can also upgrade your bucket, which allows you to hold more fish. So if you have the beginner's bucket, you may get a message that your bucket is full. You just have to exit out of the screen and let the game collect those fish and then go back to fishing. So the bigger your bucket, the longer you can fish without having to stop. And this is where you will get your bait. You can use bait to target certain fish. So if you have a task that is asking you to catch, I don't know, maybe it's asking you to catch bonitos. This is where you could go. Now he um, catches bonito on the flower farm, but if you wanted to do it on the gourmet farm, you can add this bait, throw the bait in the water, and it actually adds that fish to the water. And I'll show you all of that in a minute. So let's say I want to catch him. I would just buy one of these baits. And now once I've bought my fishing tools, now I have to add them to my tackle box. So I'm going to go back to the ring menu. And this time I'm going to click on tackle box. On the left is all of the equipment. And you'll see how many you have. So I don't have any of those. I have six of these. And you can go through and you can just click this little arrow button to move it over. So if I wanted to add this fishing pole, I would click this arrow and that would replace the bamboo pole with this one. And it's the same thing with your bait. If you have bait, click on the bait tab. Here's all the bait that I have available. And there's the bonito right there. So in order to add him, I'm going to click this arrow and or you can just drag them over. Okay, so here's my tackle box. This is what I have in my tackle box right now. I'm gonna put a couple of different baits in there. Down here, it'll show that I'm ready. I have a check next to these four items because these four items are required and I am ready to go. So now I'm gonna click go fishing again. And if you want to change equipment while you are fishing, you'll see these are the items that I currently have available to me. I have this hogfish bait. If I want to change it, I can click this arrow to expand, click on this little bait tab, and it'll show me the bait that I have in my tackle box. That's why I said the bigger your tackle box, the more you can hold. So maybe I want to switch it to this guy. And now he shows up. He's the one that I have available. Adding bait is one of the biggest questions that I get from players. Um, when you have added the bait to your tackle box, you have to then release the bait into the water. So if I click off of here, you'll see that right now I do not have any of that mahi mahi fish in the water. So if I want to catch that kind of fish, I have to release the bait. And you do that by clicking this arrow that pops up right here. And now when I click out, you'll see it has added one of those fish down here. Now he's at the bottom. I don't want to catch him at the bottom. So I will exit out of the screen and then come back. And now he's moved. Now he's up here where I can catch him. So I just have to sort of get him when he's not right underneath this fish. And no, <laughs> I didn't time it right, but you get the idea. So that's how you add equipment to your tackle box. Um, clicking this arrow here is how you switch any of the, ta any of the um, items that you want in your tackle box. You can switch them while you're in the screen. All right, so that is how you fish. If you get one of your 26 fishing tasks is asking you to catch a certain fish, you can do it that way. If it's asking you to use a certain type of bait, that's how you add the bait. If it's asking you to buy a supply, now you know that you're going to go to the little fishing supply icon right here. Now, another option is to send Oleg out fishing for you. If they want you to catch a certain type of fish, it doesn't have to be you manually 
catching. It could be Ola catching it for you. And it's just a good idea to have him out fishing all the time anyway, because fish is money. So the more fish he catches, the more you can sell and the more money you will make. In order to send Oleg fishing, I'm going to click on him one more time. And this time I'm going to click this icon right here that says send Oleg fishing. And when I click on it, I can choose which type of fish that he's going to go fishing for. So those are my choices. Um, if you have a fishing task that is asking you to in, um, increase your training, to do fishing training, that's where this button is. So again, you would click on Oleg, click on this little button, and you have two options. You can send him fishing for one of these fish, or you can click on the training button, and you can do training for experience points. Now. Another way to send Oleg fishing is to go to your flower farm. On the main farm and the gourmet farm, you can send Oleg fishing for those certain types of fish. But if you go to your flower farm, you can actually send Oleg out on a boat. I'm not sure what level this opens up for you. I can't remember, um, but you can click on this little boat right here instead. So instead of clicking on Oleg, click on the boat. And then right here for boat rental. And then it'll give you the boat that's available and it'll show you the different types of fish that you will catch with this boat. And no, it doesn't say how long it's going to be gone. So this is what I, you know, I've already done my fishing task and have my fishing area open, but I still keep Oleg out on a boat all the time because this will allow you to catch these, these types of fish that you can sell for money. All right, so I want to send Oleg on this boat right here. I can buy it and then send Oleg. And then I can choose which of these that I want based on um, what fish you want to catch. So again, if you have a certain task that you're trying to complete and you know that you need Bonito, then it would be better to choose this one because there's only three fish that he's going to catch. So the odds of catching Bonito are a little higher than if you chose this rough sea one where there's five different fish. That means that the odds of getting Bonito lower. So I would probably choose this one if I was targeting that certain fish. If you're not targeting any fish, then it would be better maybe to just choose this one and you'll get a variety of all of them. And you'll notice that once I have rented a boat, I can still come to Oleg and I can still go fishing. So I can still do manual fishing on my own, even though I have a boat that's out. I think I have covered everything about fishing. So the most important thing is that you need to complete those 26 tasks. You've got to finish those tasks and open up your deep sea fishing area because then you've got a whole new set of boats that you can send out and a whole new set of fish that you can catch. And those fish are worth a lot more money. So you definitely want to get that area open. Um, hopefully this has shown you how to complete some of those tasks. Um, you know how to buy the fishing supplies, you know how to go fishing, you know how to send Oleg fishing, you know how to do the fishing training. So those are all of the different things that those fishing tasks will ask you to do. That's all I have about fishing. If there's anything that I forgot to cover or any other questions that you have about fishing or anything else in the game, please feel free to leave your comments in the uh, questions in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them. So until our next video, happy farming, everyone.